Damn. Such MLG. Such MLG. Very tournament. What a game on. Oh my god. Entering Group B today. Welcome back to the MLG Game on Invitational. If you're just joining us today, what a set of games. What a set of games we've had so far. Uh, advancing from the second group stages in Group A, we had Scarlet in second place and uh, Kane advancing in first place. That leaves Suppy and Kyoxi unfortunately out of the tournament. And both Scarlet and Kane advancing onto the round of four, potentially to play the two people that are going to be advancing from this particular group. Potentially. Most likely going to play one of the two of them. I can't imagine we would have Scarlet versus... Mm, can't imagine. Can't imagine. But then again, anything's possible. Anything's possible. It is MLG. <laughs> wow. Damn. What a burn. What a burn. Such burn. No, that won't happen, of course. That won't happen. <clears throat> because it's MLG. They would never because let that happen. Because, exactly. It's a new, refresh, uh, refreshed MLG. It's like MLG 2. MLG 2. Where the sequel is better than the original. Absolutely, it is. Unlike StarCraft 2. <laughs> <laughs> Where is um, Milkus? Uh, what unit do I have to give up for no SCV train? Oh, minigun. Already starting out with a psychological the negotiation. Warfare. No probes. I'm not sure if there's going to be a... Is Midian going to accept this uh, deal? No probes and I won't pull SEVs. That seems a little lopsided. What does lop mean? Lopsided means a little bit off balance. I don't know what the word lop means, though. Okay. So it seems like there's no deals for this game. As Midian turns down the deal offered by Need. And verbal yeah. deals like this actually are enforced by the rules. One of the few ways you can get disqualified from an MLG tournament. Yep. If both players uh, would have agreed to it, then that is something that the admins could have enforced. Yep. This reminds me very much of, um, I think it was in the Heart of the Storm beta. I was playing against the Villa. He was complaining about how queens, how good uh, queens are. So we made a deal in the latter game. Um, that he wouldn't be allowed to build marines, which he doesn't do anyways. Hmm. If I'm not allowed to build queens, I won that game. Wow. Without queens. Nice. Such impress. Such impress. Uh, of <clears throat> course he would then complain. He, he complained because uh, I was able to scout him the entire time with overlords. Ah. And he thought that was broken. Because that... he couldn't make marines. Sure. So... <clears throat> so. We got the scouts going on. Wow, can we introduce our players in the bottom left? We got the... Why don't we do that? Uh, bottom right is Protoss Minigun. Okay, wow. These players. These guys are pretty good. Such introduction. These guys are pretty good. Minigun is Minigun. Wow, what a player. Coming he... out blazing fast out of his uh, first group with a 4-0. Domination. Domination Nation. Not even close. I, I, in fact... I don't know where I'm going with that. But yeah, um, pretty good. Minigun That's Minigun when he established good. himself as a true Protoss. As, as, opposed a true, to the, as the true Protoss. Well, as a true Protoss. Uh, unlike Desro. Unlike Desro, who's established himself as not a Protoss. However, is QXC's ruling valid anymore now that QXC's been eliminated from the tournament? Mm, I'm not sure. That's that's tough to say. I think it would have been up to Scarlet to, um, to, to decide. decide. Yeah. She could have said, you're not Terran, Avilo's Terran. I oh. think that's the that's the probably one of the most insulting things. <clears throat> probably, but at the same time, one of the most fitting things, perhaps to say. Yeah, in that situation, you know, possibly. Yeah. Oh wow! Um, pulling back the Reaper to deal with the pro is that normal? Did he already jump? He didn't get the Reaper in. Wow, chat! Oh, oh, chat! Gonna get! Ooh. Oh, so close! Close, but no cigar. Close, but no cigar. Unfortunately. For me being Cuban, that hits home. Yeah. So, yep. CVP definitely not our area of expertise. So we're we'll at? But we'll, uh, we'll do our best. So we have Minigun here going for an early Nexus by the looks of it. Denying the Reaper from jumping up with that, uh, with that Stalker. Very nice positioning for him. What a great position by Minigun, too. Yeah, absolutely. That's and I'm sure he's ready for this Reaper to come on up. He's oh, it. Minigun paying attention. Oh! Such a tension. Takes a shot. Takes a shot. <clears throat> Reaper not being allowed into the base. Zealot and the Mothership Corps denying entry. That Reaper is not going to see anything. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. This is they saying New York? I think so. Well, wait. Minigun. Mi uh, Mothership Corps out of position, maybe? Oh, never mind. It's Minigun. It is Minigun. It'll never be out of position. That's pretty much impossible. Oh, that BM that dance. Corps, yeah, a little bit of a dance. A little bit of a dance there. 
Uh oh, minigun throwing down the Twilight Council. I like yep. that spot too. That's a cute spot for Twilight Council. It is pretty cute indeed. It's gonna be really hard to scout, even if the Reaper manages to somehow to get jump into the main. And, yeah, yeah, jump past the stalker. <clears throat> Um, yeah, it's gonna be really hard to catch with a uh, scan. But he might scout it. Oh, yeah, he did. scans. He does. Scan. Oh, he, he it. that's wow. Barely cats. misses it. Wow, cats, you're a genius. Oh, and the, oh my God, the river gets taken out. No. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, cats, that was brilliant. That's How a you, scout. Like you just said, cats. You just said that. Uh, wow, 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 wow. wow, wow, wow. He's scouting. Wow, 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 wow. You just said that. Uh, yeah. Wow. Wow. You just said he might have to drop a scan. Misses it. The scan misses, misses it, it just like you predicted it. Yeah. So if I am Neeb. I probably feel okay about that scout. You scanned it, the Reaper was in there, pretty deep in. Yeah, he knows their stack, he just doesn't yeah. know where and what it is. Yeah, but I, but I mean, man, that blink, that blink being chronoed out, I don't know, man. It's gonna be tough. Uh, Neeb, the positioning of his Marines indicates that he might think that it's possibly uh, Oracle coming out. Mm -hmm. So it's that's not gonna be the case for Minigun, of course. Um, to deal with this many blink stalkers, as Minigun probably is hoping to make. Uh, he's gonna need more Marauders and less Marines. He really seems to be expecting Stargate play, and that's not gonna do it. So uh, we'll see what uh, Neeb is able to do, if he's able to scout it in time, and if he's able to react perfectly to it, because Blink Stalkers, so prevalent right now. Especially, and I mean, can we be real? These aren't just any Blink Stalkers. These are Chad, Monolith Ridge Jones, Colossus Donating Jones Stalkers. That is true. Which have are some of the scariest Stalkers this side of the, uh, whatever ocean separates us from Europe. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so we have the stalkers poking out, poking in now, and this might be a little bit of a dead giveaway. Dead. But, but we see that <clears throat> Neep already made a missile turn, which he probably didn't want to make if, if he was expecting Yeah, Neep, uh, so Neep here well. tried to cover all the bases. He's got the Marines set up for the Oracle, he's got the missile turn set up for DT. Well, for the stalkers as well. Yeah, but, sure. Uh, minigun able to spot all those marines. Gonna be a little bit more hesitant to blink in. Oh, the minigun! Maybe, blink. maybe can go for oh, the. Oh, needs to watch the motions. Okay, oh, I don't... a little bit of a misstep by minigun. I think the safe play would have been to start taking out some SCVs. Maybe, yeah, probably. But, uh, wastes effectively the shield on one of his stalkers. Uh, all the shield and almost all the HP on the mothership core and the time warp. Oh, and we have the big blink up, and the time warp does go down. The marines are gonna take out the mothership core, but these are Chad. Blinking stalkers that didn't blink anything. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, They're he, blinking. He's very hesitant to, to blink down on the low ground. Because if he loses his vision. Yeah. Then. So he always has to keep a blink stalker close to the to the oh. bridge. However, wow. We a lot of damage though. Yeah, I, I, I mean, no game ending it. damage. I mean, we just lost eight SCVs. For, yeah. There's no Marines. There's, there's no there's Marines. Only one Marauder left. One no combat left. shield. Just got taken down. How, how does it turn away? How does it? Against Chad. Jones seems quite impossible to me. I would agree. You think Flash would agree? Well, unfortunately, being in code loser, <clears throat> I don't think Flash's opinion is relevant anymore. He dropped out of code 8. You just called God a loser. I mean... He was God in Brood War. He hasn't been very godlike in StarCraft 2. He has been the ace for his. Uh, mm, very he hasn't team. been KT. very godlike in Starcraft. KT has too. been incredible. He's been godlike in Pro League, some might say. Mm, no, I don't think so. You think so? He's been one of the better performers in Pro League. <clears throat> not God. One of the not better, God. but not yeah. God. Yeah. No, right. I think um, the closest any Terran has gotten to that title. He's a king. Maybe. I think MPP is God status for Starcraft too. I mean, he used to. Most of yeah, he used to for a long fucking period of time, though. Um, <clears throat> wow. I don't, think, um, I don't think. I don't think. Who are some years gods? Ago. Gods in Brood War. Boxer. Uh, well, I mean, mm, yeah. Nada. Bisu. Store. Bisu. I don't know if Stork was ever a god. You don't think so? No. Did you say Flash, Savior was? Flash, Savior was a god. Jado. God. Um. Did you say Bisu already? You said Bisu. Okay. I think those are probably the gods. Of Brood War. Flash most definitely, of course. Perhaps the goddest, the godliest of godliest them all. Godliest of them all. Man, Flash was really good at Brood War. Alongside with Boxer, perhaps. No, they're different. I think they're different kinds of people. I don't think Flash and Boxer are comparable. It's like Pelé and Maradona. Oh. Si, senor. <laughs> what, is the, what does that mean? Are you going to explain to the non-proving people what that means? <sighs> For anyone that follows soccer, if there's any Europeans watching, they get the reference. 
if there's any Latin Americans watching. Okay. Um, basically, anyone that's not an American. Um, yeah, basically, Pelé. Pelé was a, uh, undisputably the best player of his of his time. Maradona was as well. Maradona, some might say, was a lot better than Pelé ever was. But Maradona didn't live when Pelé lived. So, different times. Sure. I think that's fair. Boxer, um... Known for his well, creativity, he he was just, so. boxer known for his creativity and his um, early brood war dominance. dominance. Um, <clears throat> much different than the later dominance, in, in different kinds of. Um, I don't, I don't think you could say okay, one is better than saying, the other, yeah, but exactly. yeah, yeah, it's different. If boxer and Flash both played at their peaks, Flash would destroy boxer. Flash would absolutely yeah. annihilate boxer. Absolutely. And I'm sorry, there are some boxer fans out there that might not want to hear that, but it wouldn't even be close. It would not. Um, boxer might take off one game in like a best of seven, doing like some crazy weird shit. Yeah. But even that, probably not. Flash. Yeah. But again, different players, different game times. Has to, exactly. Yeah. 